What's up guys, welcome to Data Refinement. In today's video, we're gonna go over my one hour method. We're gonna actually react to me doing in real time, customer service, shipping, picking, photographs, listing, all of that. My one hour method is the goal to do 10 items all the way through. It actually only takes me 41 minutes in this video and I'm gonna talk over it as I do it in real time. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing, join our Patreon group at patreon.com slash the resource podcast if you want direct mentorship with this. Appreciate you guys, let's get into the show. What's up? So I'm going to be reviewing in real time my processes for 10 items. So the first thing I'm going to do is open cases. And in this scenario, there are no open cases. Um, so this is me in real time. Now I'm addressing any open returns. Um, I'm going to pause here. There are 11 questions in this example. Most people do not get one question per item, but I just wanted to get a, an example of the longest it could take. So. Here we have 11 separate questions and issues. So I'm gonna answer them one by one. Now you can answer them from your email, it's a little bit faster, but I'm just using the eBay uh, system right now to open up all the different tabs, with all the different questions, and I'm gonna answer them one by one. It takes me roughly seven and a half seconds to answer every single question. Uh, these are just basic questions like combined shipping, can you ask for more measurements, etc. If I have extra time, which I do, I can check for measurements for them. It really doesn't take that long. If somebody asks a specific question, I can go look at the item. Sometimes people write me long marathon emails. I have time to answer all of them. Um, so now customer is asking for a partial refund. So I open up the item. I select shipping discount um, as the reason. I, I deduct the shipping amount and then I send the customer a partial refund. That still only takes maybe 15 seconds. And a lot of the questions are only take two seconds to answer. So I think people greatly overestimate how long it takes to answer an offer or answer a message. It takes me only two and a half minutes to do 20 customer service actions, which is more than most people have. One thing that can happen to you though, is if you wait several days before answering, then you'll have a lot to answer. And personally, I no longer get annoyed with any kind of question. I consider every single question an intent to buy. So. It doesn't bother me. It only asks for a few, it only takes a few seconds. So I'm gonna fast forward through this. Um, now I'm sending offers to watchers. So I recommend for people just starting, send one or send one at a time. And then when you do bulk, end up sending it to everyone at the same time with a specific discount that you're comfortable for with. Now I'm sending invoices to unpaid items. I have four people a day on average who don't pay. So eBay does have a system where they collect the payment information, but it doesn't always work and not every customer has that option. So it takes me a few seconds to send an offer to watcher. So after two and a half minutes, I'm done with my work for the day. Now I am picking items. So my inventory system is chronological one through a million. Somebody had asked what I do after a million items. I just go to a million and one items and continue. It's chronological forever. Um, I have the lanyard around my neck holding the phone and that way I can set it down on my chest when I pick an item. It takes me about 12 seconds per item to pick the item and then I have my phone set on the screen lock so that way it doesn't lose its orientation when I set it down. Um, otherwise you need to rotate your phone and let it reconfigure again. I'm using the awaiting shipment page in the desktop browser. So I don't use the eBay app at all except for to look at my 90 day total. Um, there's no it's the app is for for consumers to use to sell and buy but i'm more of a commercial operation so i recommend if you're going to do ebay seriously learn how to use the desktop app because it's faster so um most of the time ideally i wouldn't actually i would keep the phone in my left hand the whole time and never set it down because that takes extra time um also it takes a little bit longer for me to move around and not get in the way of my videographer. So normally it's even faster than this actually. Um, and I do have some combined orders um, in this example, somebody buying more than one item. I typically get an average order size of probably two because some people buy 10 items or 12 items. And that's one benefit also of having a bigger store is people always that can find more than one thing that they need. So if you want to check out my store, you can just Google daily refinement eBay store my store is Daily Refinement. My username is Daily Refinement. You can find me everywhere, Instagram too. Follow me on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit to right here. 
So um, I'll now upload this video literally completely raw, but it would take 41 minutes. So I'm just going to try to fast forward through it to all the important parts. So I set the items to my left right here. My scale has a little ledge that holds the item in place. So right now my um, photographer needs to use the bathroom. So I actually let her out. And as far as being distracted during the day, that happens to me all the time. So I'm right now I have three people helping me. Um, two people with eBay and one person with videography. So um, as they are helping me, I'm sorry, as I'm doing my tasks throughout the day, there's always questions to be asked. So I always just answer the question and then get back to work. It takes me roughly 36 seconds to print, pack, uh, print and pack and ship a label. I'm sorry, print, pack and ship an item. The uh, I use a Rolo printer. All of my supplies are bit.ly slash resource supplies also in the description below. Um, all my supplies are within arm's reach. I don't have to move at all to reach any box or uh, any envelope or any piece of tape. Everything is available here. It never gets messy because I never bring anything into this area. And I think that may be slowing down a lot of people too. It's just the things that I need to work. Um, my macro in this example, which is a set of instructions that automates on my computer, um, is broken. So I have to sometimes manually do it. So again, the time it takes you to manage macros is slower than just doing it manually. The few seconds you save does add up, but it takes you minutes, sometimes hours to set up the actual macro. So I just do that for fun. You don't need any macros. It doesn't actually speed up my workflow. Um, it takes a little bit longer to do it. So 36 seconds um, when I do it manually, it takes 22 seconds when I do it with the macros. So a little bit faster. And the reason why I do it one at a time is every single one of my items is unique. If I had um, items that were similar or the same, then I would maybe use bulk shipping. But since every single one of my items is different, I manually check the number on the printing label to match the number on the item before every single item. I do one at a time and um, I do pack the next item while I'm working on the same one, but it takes me roughly six minutes to ship all my items, 36 seconds each. I don't know where it is for you guys, but um, to be honest, I can ship a, more than 100 items in less than an hour. So shipping takes less than an, like less than an hour and a half hour a day. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through this since it's all the same. Um, I get interrupted a couple more times during this process and it's fine. I just answer whatever question somebody has and I get back to work. People ask about what happens when their family interrupts them. That's life. So when they interrupt you, just get back to work. So um, I put everything away after I'm done with the label and then I confirm by refreshing the page that there are no shipments due. Um, yeah, so just make sure putting everything away and then I put the shelf um, I put the supplies back before I start photography, take items to my car. Obviously, um, this is not my orders for the day and I forgot my key, but um, just separate 10 orders I did for this example. Okay, so now photography takes me roughly 16 minutes to photograph, pack and put away 10 items, 90 seconds on average to take the photos, pack the item and put the items away. Everything all inclusive, 90 seconds. Some people don't count. The time it takes to put items away, I'm going to in this example. Um, I use a ruler for measurements. I hold it in my left hand. I use my right hand to take the photo. I use a hanging flat lay, which I have a separate video for. Just Google um, custom photo box in my description. You should be able to find it on my YouTube channel. And please subscribe, like the channel if you've never been here before. We list roughly a thousand items a week, and I have two two people working for me. Both, or I'm sorry, one is a 1099 employee. The other one is a W-2. So I have both. Um, I should be knowledgeable on most questions, so feel free to join my Patreon, patreon.com slash the resource, patreon.com slash the resource podcast. And we have coaching calls all week long. Um, we have five different coaches and the, the, my partner, Tech and Sports, he has a 42,000 item store and he's the largest pre-owned item seller that's not a company in the world. So we've been doing this a long time. You can see here, I pack it into the bag. It only takes six seconds to put it in the bag and back into the box. So that, to me, it's worth the six seconds to put it in the plastic because it's easier to find. You can put your items loose in your boxes, but I prefer to have it in the plastic. Um, it does create a situation where, you know, I'm using a lot of plastic. So that is something that I am aware of. Um, I will look for in the future recyclable materials, um, but right now it, it's more of a production line. So I understand there are some 
effects to that, but um, I will figure out a way to do recyclable materials. One thing that also is interesting is that it is a Ziploc bag. So with a tab on top, these bags um, sometimes are sold out, sometimes they're not. I do have the link in my description. So I have to make sure now to order enough bags so I don't have to run out when I plug something. So I'm redoing this part of my storage. This is the second unit. I have three units. So eventually, um, by in the next three to five months, this unit will be full of items. I'm not sure if I want to do the same thing for the third unit um, because that would put me roughly at 30,000 items and I'd have to hire, I think, three or four more people to get to that level. And I don't know if I'm ready for that much overhead. I kind of think eBay works best three to five employees if you're going to be trying to do passive income. Um, meaning you want somebody else to run your store, I recommend having more employees. So notice during this whole thing, I don't take any breaks. I don't have any coffee. I don't use the bathroom because it only takes 41 minutes. So you have time to run an eBay store. Under one hour is fine. If you don't know how to do these processes quickly, then join my Patreon group. Take a video of you doing something. We have a 24 hour help call. So turn the video on and ask, hey, does anybody want to check out my process? It's only going to take three to five minutes to show any part of your process and people can give you feedback on how to improve it. I am very out of practice because I don't take the photos in my store very often. Um, I can be back up if somebody doesn't show up, but I don't normally um, take photographs. That's why it takes me 90 seconds. Uh, my Both of my photographers are about 70 seconds. So they're 20 seconds faster. Staging is faster. They put the supplies in a better place. They're more organized. They've done it longer. Better, better muscle memory. So some people think that they can't take pictures. People can't take pictures as good as they can. That's, that's nonsense. Um, they just haven't practiced. So once somebody practices, they're gonna be better, most likely than you at taking photos because they've practiced. But you have to come up with the rubric. A lot of people don't know how to do it and they hire someone to do it. And then you're basically paying somebody to screw up your store because they're doing it however they want to and it's gonna be different every time. So my photos look exactly the same as my photographer's photos. Um, so I do this for, for about 16 minutes in a row. Um, and then at the very end, I'm gonna fast forward. The very end, you notice how every time it's the same. At the very end, I put the items away in the uh, box and then I carry the box and put it away on the shelf. Now, um, depending on the photographers, um, the amount that they're doing, I may actually put the items away for them and just have them set the boxes to the side. Depends on how much time I have. And if I'm in the unit, if I'm in the unit, I'll just help them put it back to save them, you know, 10 seconds because that's just a nice thing to do. But I'll show you right now. Once the items are put away, I actually put between 15 and 30 in each box. I was just moving it to show you guys that it doesn't really take that long. And now, as you can see, I'm going directly in the listing. Um, there is no break between photos and listing for me because I want to get done with eBay as soon as possible. So now I'm doing airdrop. My Both of my workers use um, an iPhone hard drive, which I will be um, setting up for you guys. It looks like this. So I'm going to go over a tutorial, literally opening the box setting up the whole thing, plugging it into the phone and setting it up. I personally use AirDrop these days because they AirDrop in order now with the new Mac equipment. So um, I don't have that issue with them needing to be rotated or anything. So it took me 30 seconds, a little like 27 seconds to AirDrop 10 sets of photos, which in this example is 99 items. So I tried to take 12 photos per item, but um, I only think you should enter in photos that actually add value. So uploading the same 12 pictures is not adding value to the customer. So I have 10 unique photos for each item, different areas, um, styling, flaws, defects, color, everything, different lighting to give people a good idea of what it looks like. So my setup on my computer, pretty straightforward. I use the eBay listing tool. I don't use any third party software. All of it is a waste of money. Use that money to join our group. Um, and, if I, and once you get the value out of the group, you can leave the group and then you don't need to pay for anything. You can just use the eBay app. Um, I drag the photos in. They are loading while I fill out the rest of the, the um, rest of the description. Um, sometimes things are clunky on the eBay site. That's fine. I don't worry about it. I don't cry about it. I don't go onto a Facebook group and cry about it. I just wait a few seconds and then continue. Or if that listing is broken, I just move on to the next listing. Um, it takes me 
roughly 60 to 90 seconds to list during eBay templates. Again, I am a little bit out of practice on the listing part. Traditionally, I just approve the drafts now after everybody makes them. So it's taking me a few seconds longer to get used to this process. So I sell in 60 to 90 seconds using eBay templates. Um, you can use sell similar as well. So the reason why I'm opening up the picture on the right is so that I can see what category it's in. I sell in roughly six categories. I hope to be number one in all six of my categories eventually. And right now I'm not. One of the categories I sell in, as you can see on the screen, is women's jeans. So I can write the title. The last photo is the custom skew. I can see it without blowing up the picture. Um, and what I'm doing is now checking for styles, checking for inseam, checking for the model name. Um, and I just add in everything. And it takes me um, roughly 90 seconds to do a listing. One of the reasons why I don't recommend cross-listing um, is because people say it only takes a minute or two to cross-list. Well, in a minute or two, I can list another item. So 41 minutes is how long it takes me to do my entire eBay business, not just um, not just one part of it, all of it. And that's me not being fully, fully optimized. Uh, my partner, Tech and Sports, in the Patreon group, his process is a full one minute faster, which is insane, which means that in the same process that it takes me 41 minutes, it takes him 31 minutes to do 10 items. So three minutes per item for me, I'm around four minutes per item all the way through, including everything, customer service. Um, to the right here, you can see my iPhone is on a um, avocado lanyard. Um, get the lanyard that fits you. I have one in my description link, but again, um, you can check out what I use, but you should use whatever works for you. The actual equipment does not matter. Y if you gave me all new equipment that I've never used before, um, I could still figure out a process that makes sense. That's the simplest. So most people greatly underestimate how long it takes to do this um, as far as like how long it takes to get good at it. Um, and they greatly overestimate how long the eBay day actually is. eBay day is only an hour. Sometimes people are taking 18 hours to do what I just did in 41 minutes. They're stretching these tasks way out, take the photos first, take the kids to school, um, then a couple listings on their phone, which is way slower, then go home, ship sometimes, sometimes they don't ship, sometimes they do customer service, sometimes they don't. You're actually working on eBay longer than I do. You're just spreading it out through the whole day. That's not I wouldn't recommend doing that because I just have I have a daughter, and if I'm working on eBay, then I'm not hanging out with her. Uh, it, there's it's BS when people say they can multitask and hang out with their kid and do eBay. That's impossible. It takes your full focus to list properly. Um, what item specifics do you need to fill out? All the ones that are important to your item. You would know that if you think about it from the point of view of your customer. Your customer, when buying a pair of jeans, is going to want to know what style is it and how is it going to fit right? Somebody that's buying a blender from you needs to know how tall it is, how wide it is, so it can fit on their kitchen counter. Think about it from the point of view of your customer. So for me, since I switched to thinking about what the customer wants, I have, you know, I'm in a better mood because I know thinking about what I want is annoying because sometimes I feel differently every day. So I don't want to base my business on how I feel because it doesn't make sense. I feel different every day. I would rather base my business on how my customers feel and they're just somebody out there in the ether. Um, it's easier to please others because you kind of know what they're looking for. Um, so it, it, if, if you're looking for you know true introspection on how to make yourself really happy, I really think it comes down to um, how does your day match what you want it to look like? It's different for everyone. So for me, I want to get eBay done in as little time as possible. Um, you know, I want to get my listings done. So this is it literally exactly the same for the entire time. And let's see. Yeah. Once I finish for the end of the day, um, I just call it. So this is my eBay one hour method. I'm going to re-upload this video um, in its full form. So you guys can watch me do it for 41 minutes with some nice lo-fi beats in the background. Uh, but that's pretty much it. The eBay method, the daily refinement way is under one hour for 10 items all the way through everything is only 10 minutes, I'm sorry, one hour. So that equates to around six minutes per item. On the super duper high end, that would mean you get a cup of coffee, you use the bathroom, you, everything. Actually, to be honest, I can do it in an hour, including going to the post office and driving home, everything. If, if I didn't have a scheduled pickup, 
I could still drive to the post office. And if I scheduled a pickup, I could also have lunch and breakfast in still an hour. So if I really hustled, I could do lunch, breakfast, and watch a, a Netflix video and still have it under an hour. So again, it's just about doing the work and only the work and nothing else. So I appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button. I highly, if you enjoy this content, honestly, join the Patreon group at the year level. It's $350 for the whole year. It's the best deal in town. And just hang out with people who do this. Like, it's been invaluable for me. I'm, I'm the one that's benefited the most from the group because I read every single person's comments. So I get to go in there and look at basically 2,000 people's best practices. I mean, that's unheard of. So get in there, get around people who do this for, for real. And then I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.